Okay, um, I guess we're live, I think. <laughs> Welcome, um, to the stream, if you're watching. Hello, 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 say hello if you're here. <laughs> oh, here we go again. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh, there's lots happening tonight. <laughs> Ladies and gents, welcome to a new Doctor Who live stream. Um, this time last week, or maybe not this time last week, but last week, we were um, we were here on YouTube and we were talking about some mysterious thing on Instagram. Um, potentially a new Doctor. Now we have our new Doctor, Shooty Gatwa. And a week later, not to the exact time, but the Doctor Who social accounts are doing their thing. Uh, they have tweeted something so i'm going to basically put this on screen here we go <laughs> so here's here's that um you may think well, we've already seen this the box is a different angle i know that means nothing but nothing means nothing does it the box is at a slightly different angle and if you go on this russell t davis has said they're back what does that mean? <laughs> so, we're going to be live streaming for the next hour and a bit, maybe, discussing what this could be. Um, because who knows? Who's they? They could be anyone. Could it be a, a doctor? Could it be the Daleks? Could it be the Cybermen? Could it be the Master? Could it be some... It's got to be someone who's back. Back from something. Back from their holidays? Back from, you know, whatever? I don't know, but that's what's happening, apparently. Um, so there we are. <laughs> I guess. Welcome to another live stream, everyone. Welcome. I hope you're having a great evening, or afternoon, or lovely Sunday. Um, we're going to read through the chat in just a minute. <laughs> oh, it's so weird to like have this again. I was just like, thank God I was just sat here. <laughs> and like available to do something so welcome 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 let's theorize we're going to take in all of your guys theories we're going to talk about all that sort of stuff so please if you have any theories if you have any ideas put stuff in chat let's talk about it if you spot anything beyond this symbol and beyond russell t davis's comment let me know um okay so let's talk through we've got loads of people welcome to everyone to the chat um 127 live viewers which is insane thank you very much um Get you guys on screen there. That's um, the chat's not very uh, well lit, is it? It's kind of like just kind of mm, interesting. Can we like duplicate that? Can't really, can we? Um, you can see the chat all right on screen, can't you? You can kind of read it. Um, wow, two hearts equals time lords. Um. Some people are saying diamond could be the diamond um, anniversary, which would be the 60th. So that's something. <laughs> um, two doctors back, some people are saying. Ace and Tegan? It can't be Ace and Tegan. I mean, we already know they're back. This is going to be something. Um, and knowing what they did last time, it's probably going to take about an hour and a half or an hour, two hours maybe. They're going to let us linger on this random pause. Hopefully they don't let us linger too long. Hopefully we'll get something in like an hour. When was this posted? Exactly half five. I'm saying half six. Let's guess the thing is half six. Um, oh my lord. Keep an eye on Georgia Tennant's Twitter. I wonder. I wonder. I wonder. They're back. Oh my god. This is exciting, isn't it? I don't I don't know, I don't know what's happening. Um, but again, if you're new here, welcome to the live stream. We're currently just shitting ourselves over. <laughs> Holy shit, shit, Twitter. Yeah, 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 we're on Twitter. Is it on Twitter as well? Are we looking on Twitter? Is there anything new on Twitter? No, it's just this. Nothing on Twitter has been said by anyone. I mean, everyone's just freaking out. Let's just do an here we go gif. Oh, it's a very generic one. Let's use the Joker one, isn't it? But, yeah. Um, Return of the Quarks. 
Look at TV zone. TV zone. Let's have a look at TV zone. Yeah, I don't know if TV zone are an official source. They're pretty good though. They're pretty. They've got a great track record. Um. So maybe I mean obviously I mean the next thing is the next thing after geordie has gone will be the 60th stuff whether it's the 60th anniversary special or whether it's the 60th like as a year um <laughs> someone's in cinema that's hilarious um they're um they're announcing something but last time it was kind of like okay two hearts plus blue box was for the doctor announcement what's this this is the same but the box is now on its side they're very lucky there's enough blue box emojis to go around, aren't they? Um, classic Doctor's coming back. Um, diamond logo, maybe. Got to be a companion, maybe. I feel like a companion, I think it's, it's I would have thought like, oh, maybe they're going to do a companion announcement. Maybe they're going to do like a costume announcement. But then it's like, they're back. <laughs> Just seems very, um, I don't know, cryptic. Very cryptic and very, I don't well, not, no, not, not very cryptic. I suppose it's less cryptic than this. <laughs> so many replies. I love this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to join in here. Got nothing else to do for an hour, have we? <laughs> uh, I don't even know if I can reply. Um... Okay, yeah. I feel like we're going to just be sat on this for a while, so we'll just talk about that and sort of read out the chat. So, if you feel like you've got stuff to say, um, let us know. Let's join in. Let's chat. I'm going to do my spot. Oh, my God, you can see my low... <laughs> I'm trying to find some, like, lo-fi shit to put in the background so it's not, like, super distracting or going to give me a copyright warning, but it's not just my boring voice. Um... Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, how many more blue box emojis are there? <laughs> so we're saying there's three. So there's one more to go. Um, the Doctor Donner, returning companion. Could be returning to the Doctor. The, 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 the Time Lords are they them, technically. You know, they're back. I don't know. Russell replied. He sent a winking face. Of course he did. Of course he did. When did he reply? Probably just now. Um, yeah, I love that. Last weekend it was like, yeah, Jodie's going to regenerate soon, so we'll, um, we'll sort of let her have a moment. <laughs> I presume whatever these things are, and they said, I think there's something, I don't know if I read this right, but there's definitely an article about this where it was about Announcing Shitty Get Rose the Doctor so soon is probably because they're filming soon and it will be in public. So whatever they're announcing here would have to be something that the public would be able to infer just by seeing it at uh, film in public. So it'll be a character, or it'll be a costume, or it'll be a TARDIS. Or, but because of the way the their back sounds, um, I feel like it's going to be a, a person. But that's really intriguing. Um, said about Den uh, Tennant and Donna. I would have always kind of like brushed that under the rug. I'm starting to get more like, oh dear, this is definitely a possibility. It's not going to be Barman. The BBC have cut ties with Barman. <laughs> um, you don't have to worry about that. God, this is so weird. What the fuck? Um, oh, there we go. Like my little on-screen thing is working, which is reminding you all to go and follow my Twitch. <laughs> um, yeah, we try and go live every Tuesday and play some video games on twitch.tv slash gbshield. So if you are interested, check out the description. Um, if you're interested in any of the stuff I do, check the description. We're going to be here for about an hour, aren't we? So, yeah. Um... You know, so let's make this into a bit of a fun kind of live stream and not just kind of like, um, let's make it something interesting. 
Um, huh. People are saying Tennant and Tate. I tell you what, yeah, let's make it let's make it really interesting. Okay, I'm gonna start a Google form. That's the best way to do it, is it? Oh no 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 no. Yeah, no, Google Forms is probably the best thing to do. So I'm going to do a Google Form, and I'm going to get you guys to pick out what you think is going to be the best, the most likely option here. So, let's, um, <laughs> obviously follow me on Twitter as well, if you haven't already. We're, we're jumping up in followers, which is very nice. Um, okay. What is it? So let's say, um, well, it's going to be a character, isn't it? They're back. So is it going to be old doctor? Is it going to be um, old monster, right? Old BTS person. All right, we're going to do that. And then we're going to do which doctor would be most likely. We're going to do, let's say, Tenant. Um, okay, let's just go back. Let's say Smith. Let's just remove the question marks. It's going to just, it's going to make it even more annoying. We're going to do this, and then when I'm finished, we're going to get you guys to fill it in, and we're going to like read out your guys' thoughts on. Please put another option. Okay, let's put, yeah, let's add other. For each one, Smith, um, Capaldi, Gan, McCoy. I'm keeping Eccleston out because it's just not going to be Eccleston. Um, let's put Whitaker in as well, I suppose. Then Martin. Um, let's put Eccleston in. Fuck it. <laughs> um, Baker. Let's see. Baker. T. Um, Davison. Um, yeah. Should we say other? <laughs> so we'll someone puts Philip Hinchcliffe in there. I'm not going to be happy. Um, again, if anything new comes out as well while I'm doing this stupid thing, um, <laughs> please do. Uh, do let me know, and we'll, we'll jump over to it. Mm -mm -mm. Most likely companion. So let's say we go back. So let's go uh, Donna, Martha, That's a good point, actually. The old logo was a bit of a blue diamond, wasn't it? So that's interesting. So maybe it's something from that. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, but like, we're talking, we're going back to like, um, Tom Baker. Like, it had a blue diamond, but Doctor Who logo was a blue diamond. Obviously, diamond anniversary as well. What if the logo for the, di the diamond anniversary goes back to that? That would be lovely, wouldn't it? Um, we got Martha. Let's put Rose in there as well. We go Amy, Rory, River, Bill, Clara, um, Yaz, it's not gonna be, Dan, Graham, Graham, um, Ryan, and then we're gonna have, well, can't miss out Nardole, and then other. Um, most likely monster. And we're going to add in, like, the master. I know he's not a monster, but we're just doing it anyway. Daleks. Cybermen. Slavine. It's got to be an option, isn't it? Um, Slavine. What else we got? What other monsters? Weeping Angels. Um... Yeah, I'm going to refresh at 6 6 p.m. We'll see. I'll just put other at this point. And what was the other option? 
Little BTS person. Oh yeah, that's just um. Most likely BTS. Let's say I don't know Moffat, <laughs> Chibnall, and the other top one. Very gold. Other. Um. Okay, I think. Any other thoughts? Let's put any other thoughts. Long answer text. Not required. Okay, cool. Um, let's send this out. It's going to go in the chat now. You guys can fill it in. Let's go. Yeah, hang on, let's get the, uh... Let's do that. Let's post that. Let's do a Doctor Who gif. For all good measure. And then let's link the live stream underneath. I know how to promote my shit. Hell yeah. Cheers to that. Okay. So it's split between Old Doctor and Old Companion. Oh god. Yeah. Everyone's like... I'm going to let this distill for a little bit. Um, I'm going to advertise some of my own shit. Because I want you guys to like follow what I'm doing. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that first, and then we're gonna then we're gonna look back at um, the form and see what people are saying. So first of all, every ten minutes or so, you'll see a little advert pop up on screen. Um, I am <clears throat> I go on. I do live streams on Twitch now. I try and do it every Tuesday. We play on there. And I'm trying to build up a little bit of a following on there. So if you are watching this and you're enjoying the sort of live content and the kind of commentary that I provide, um, and you're interested in potentially helping support something that I'm genuinely passionate about and want to get a bit more traction towards, My microphone fell over. I wasn't even blaspheming. God has taken his mercy. Um, I live stream on Twitch, basically. Twitch.tv slash JBShade. Please go and drop a follow. It's linked in the description below. I'm going to put it in chat as well. Um, let's pin this, though. But I'll put my Twitch in the chat. All you have to do, hop over, drop a follow. It would, I'd really, really appreciate it, and it would be great. Um, I'd, I'd really love it if people could support that. Sorry about dropping my... Fucking microphone. Um, <laughs> professional strip. It doesn't... It does, my desk is too thick. My desk is too dummy thick to fit the fucking thing on. So it just kind of balances. And then every now and then, the sheer force of nature that is my deep, masculine, gorgeous voice shatters the fucking, like, the air around my desk. And it just causes my microphone to fall. What can I say? I'm like Brian Blessed. <laughs> um, yes, I do stream on Twitch. Please go and follow that. I'm also on TikTok. Believe it or not, I'm on TikTok. And you should go and follow that as well. Because I'm bloody hilarious. I get notifications, which I'm not going to show on stream, but you can't even see it. At GB Sheard. I do funny things on TikTok. At GB Sheard. S H E A R D. Just like the YouTube name. Yeah. I'm not doing OnlyFans. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. Thank you. Yeah, these there, this on screen in the bottom corner down there, and that the big direction down there are all my new Twitch followers, and I'm going to thank you all individually. I did just miss that name, but it was on screen, so there we go. Thank you very much. I really appreciate the following on Twitch. That's great. Right, um, 
Now that I've done that and I've sort of subjected you to that, thank you very much, David WSM9908. Thank you very much. Um, we're now going to head over to the Google Form. <laughs> 100 responses. Um, there's a lot of random things in there. Turn a spin off, stop from companion. Editor. But the main, the majority of people are saying old doctor, 65. Well, 66%. 16% um, uh, for old companion, 5.6, 7 7.4% for old monster. Doctor is the most likely. <laughs> Everyone's saying tenant. I think everyone knows that tenant is probably the most likely at this point. So there we go. Um, Cloud NT, thank you for the Twitch follow, my friend. Um, Smith, I think, is next up. Um, yeah. Martin Baker. Yeah. Who the fuck's Mr. Plum? There's no one like than Eccleston. That's really funny. I can't even see Eccleston on here. Has, like, I don't think anyone's vote. <laughs> Christmas specials. Well, that's just stupid. Come on. Come on. Thank you, Envy Ash. Sorry, I missed the one before. Um... Let me turn this up a bit. It's this no, like non-copyright lo-fi beat that's gone in the background here. Thank you, Midgeman2905. Uh, most likely companion, Donna. Again, like 54.4%. Most people think it's going to be Donna. I agree with both of these things. Um, I don't necessarily agree that this is what the announcement is in Old Doctor. I feel like that would be very big. But if they're filming in public soon, uh, it's probably going to be ruined anyway. So maybe announcing it is the best idea. Um... I am blowing up on TikTok, exactly. Most likely companion, um, Donna, 55%. Martha's next up, then Rose. So basically the, the RTD companions, which makes sense. Most likely monster returning. I can't believe most of you think it's the master, because I don't think the master's going to be the one that they bring back for the 60th, especially after the centenary. Um, thank you to the 300 live viewers, by the way. You're all legends. Um, most likely monster... Yeah, Dalek's probably up there. Slavine. I always when I when he when he said they're back, I got the vibe that it was gonna be like a monster. Um something like that, to be honest. I kind of thought that's what it was gonna be. Um Oh wow, we've actually had a Twitch subscriber, which is insane. Thank you for that. Unless that's a subscriber on YouTube. I honestly can't remember if that's how it works anymore, but thank you anyway. Um Dave Oing, Oingold's 96, thank you for the Twitch follow. Um, most likely BTS, Murray Gold, everyone's saying. Moffat, don't think it's going to happen. Um, Izazi, Fizazi, good name. Uh, thank you for the Twitch follow. The bottom one for Monster. <laughs> Checking up Zob Love's Love Child. Some of you guys just love this. Anyway, the problem is because no one can fucking spell Absorb Love. It just doesn't get included in the same thing. So all comes in as individual responses. If you learn to say it correctly, it'll probably come in and actually have a big statistic. Well, it has got two. <clears throat> Mostly BTS, Murray Gold, Moffat, Chip. <laughs> yeah, no, Chip was probably not coming back, let's be honest. Um, any other thoughts on craving chocolate? I swear if it's Smith, Scream of Joy, Meows, maybe even Emily Cook. Have high hopes for the new era. Edgar Wright, yeah, the, oh yeah, let's talk about Edgar Wright, holy shit, yeah, that was a thing. Um, I'm, I'm a little bit less convinced than I was at the time. Ali Plum, big Doctor Who fan and BBC's major film and TV reviewer, just replied with a gif of Tennant. I doubt he'd risk dropping something like that, but you never know. I think the chances are he probably isn't aware of what it is. The BBC's a massive, massive corporation and there's a lot of different areas. So I don't know if he'd have any like any knowledge of what it would be anyway. But who knows? <laughs> yeah, we're just sort of vibing now at the moment. Um, of course. Noel Clark. Let's not talk about Noel Clark. Um... This tenant, no smoke without fire. It's a good point. I think, like, honestly, and I would never, ever have caught myself, like, dead saying this. Um, like, a couple years back, or even, like, a couple months ago. But actually, it's, yeah, I, I think it actually could be turned.
TV Zone have confirmed it for the 60th? I don't know how strong the TV Zone's source is, is the only problem. Um, but, yeah, it's an interesting one, isn't it? Um, they might be... They probably, you know, they probably are a good source. I just don't know if it's one to one hundred percent trust. If it was something like the sixtieth or it's something like they, you know, whatever, they probably want to like be able to do it. I don't know. They probably want to have something specific for it. Um, I don't know what I'm saying. Basically, I don't think they'd be allowed to announce it if they knew that. You know, but I think they're theorizing as much as anyone else. But maybe not. Maybe not. Who knows? Um. Velvet J, five pound donation in super chat. Thank you so much for the five pound donation. Uh, five pound donation, Velvet J. Could it be possible for an old writer from the classic series or the Rani to return? I think it's a big announcement right now. I think it has got to be someone because the way I think about it is right. The reason they announced the reason they announced the um, Ambassador Wolfie. Thank you for the follow on Twitch. Um, I, uh, yeah, my, for me, like, I, um, I'm trying to work out. I, 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 I've lost what I'm saying. <laughs> James Garrick, thank you for the follow. Uh, thank you for the Twitch follow. Um, yeah, so the reason they announced Shooty right is probably because they're going to be shooting on location soon. And if Shooty's just there with a the TARDIS and a stupid costume, it's going <laughs> to, it's going to be like, okay, that's Doctor Who. He's the new Doctor. So anything they announce now... Oh god, yeah, it's one minute to go. Let's refresh our page and then we'll continue this conversation if nothing gets announced. For Ten seconds. Okay, here we go. Here we go. And anything? No, we have nothing. Thank you, Harper4236, for the follow. Okay, nothing yet. I don't think we're going to get anything, because it's only been half an hour. Last time it was an hour, so let's wait an hour and see. And then if not, we'll push it to an hour and a half and see, but, you know, let's hope it's something. Um, we saw David. Yeah, there's people saying they've seen David in Cardiff and he wouldn't let them take photos, but the convenient thing about not being able to take photos is very much that thing of, well, you didn't see him then. And they might have done, but if you say, like, Oh, he was definitely there. I just couldn't take photos of him. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to believe it, isn't it? Um, so, okay. Let's come back at half six and do that. But I'm going to keep streaming. So, keep sticking around. Keep theorizing. Uh, thank you, HoneyGuy000, for the follow. We're going to keep um, taking in your guys' uh, thoughts and ideas. Um, we've got a lot of people on, on the um, form here, which is quite exciting. And a lot of people following my Twitch as well, which is really nice. So thank you all so much for those follows. Um, I'm going to try and shout out as many as I can on screen. But if you're not aware, as I said before, I do stream on Twitch. And any support on that, as it's something I'm really trying to grow as a little community on there, I'd really, really appreciate it. And obviously, I'm doing this now. This is a live stream. It's relevant. I'm not trying to just market something at you. This is some other form of content that I do. But because it's not YouTube, a lot of you might not be aware about. So if you have got a Twitch account and you want to hop over there, you want to drop me a follow, that would be really appreciative. We're getting closer and closer to 500 followers. Followers and it's an exciting little time um and yeah I, I, I try and engage as much as i can with um people to uh, on twitch so we try and work out what people would like me to play as well so it's actually enjoyable <laughs> um what's happened i've only just joined okay so the doctor who social about half an hour ago tweeted this it's the same emoji as before, but the blue box is on its side. Which I wouldn't be doing a live stream about usually. But then you see, thank you, it's just Toga for following my Twitch. Um, but then you've got Russell commenting, they're back! On this. <laughs> and I'm like, huh. So let's say, right, let's say you want to explain it away and go, okay. For example, it's, it's David Tennant coming back. If it is that, let's just, let's just find a way of explaining that. So they use these emojis for Shooty Gatwa's Doctor announcement. Um, and there's a Twitch little pop-up there. Um, Rich Teller, they just retweeted the Twitter post, did she? Oh my god. Really? I don't even know if I follow Rachel Teller, is the only thing. Oh my god, yeah. Huh. Intriguing. Hmm. Interesting. I, I'm excited for this, though. I think there's going to be something, isn't there? Um, 
Yeah, I think if you're going to explain it away, let's let's pretend, for example, that it is Tenant coming back for the 60th anniversary. Right. You've got Shooty's Doctor announcement. You use these emojis. These emojis are like now like a viral thing. It's like you use these emojis, you know what people are talking about. They're talking about the next Doctor. They're talking about the new announcement. It's a really wholesome little way of identifying that. Um, so they go, right, well, we're going to announce the Doctor returning because we're going to film with him in public. So let's use the same emojis, but let's use the diamond for the 60th anniversary. So, and thank you for the super chat, Samuel Myth, a uh, multi-master versus multi-doctor story for the 60th. I have no idea. I feel like what it could be is, you could either be one of two things. Either Shooty's first story is going to be a multi-doctor story with David Tennant or another doctor or something like that. Or, if it was going to be another doctor, they'll have a doctor in between Shooty and Jodie, which is something that people have been theorising about a lot, because when Shooty was announced, no one said the 14th doctor. Nothing official said the 14th doctor. Everyone just said the Doctor. Shooty Pagawa was playing the Doctor. And as someone who looks into things way too much, and probably too much for their own good, I feel like you're not going to know, like, they're not, there's a reason they're going to do that. It's not completely by accident, surely. And indulge me in this absolute mad batshit theory. What if Shooty Gat was the 15th Doctor? And 14 is yet to be revealed. Maybe 14 is being played by an older Doctor actor, and we're going to have someone thrown in. Who knows? And the stream says I'm lagging. So if I am, just let me know. Uh, Rachel Talalay, for those who don't know, is the director of every um, Peter Capaldi finale for Doctor Who, including uh, Dark Water, Death in Heaven, uh, Heaven Sent, Hell Bent, World Enough in Time, The Doctor Falls, and Twice Upon a Time. Some of uh, some very highly rated episodes in there, and very gorgeously shot episodes, and very beautifully acted episodes. Especially World Enough in Time, Doctor Falls, and Heaven Sent. Thank you for the super chats as well. So we've had nothing. Probably not going to get anything for another half an hour. So what I'm going to do is, if it's alright with you guys, we're going to keep theorising. What we're going to do is, we're not just going to sit here with a blank screen on. What we're going to do is, we're going to... Open up a little tab, and we're going to play this bad boy for a bit. <laughs> for those who don't remember, during lockdown they released this uh, lovely little game, um, which basically is this. This is an old, old game, but um, oh, he has been dubbed as the Fourteenth Doctor officially. Is that true? Where was that? Because I didn't see any of the posts say that. Unless I'm just overlooking it too much. This is something that was released in lockdown. It's one of those rage games. Everyone hates seeing William Hartnell's face in this game because it just means game over most of the time. But we're going to play this a little bit. We're going to keep reading out your guys' theories. Most people nowadays say I have no time. Ah, okay, the mic's still on, but it fell again. I want to die. You know, the present is represented on your watch by a what the fuck is this music? I'm not using anything with audio in it. I need to put together like a proper like live stream playlist. For music, for when I'm streaming. <laughs> Can I react to a video? I might react to a video if it's relevant. Um, do you remember Sudoku? Of course I remember Sudoku. Come on. Sudoku would be very difficult now, though, wouldn't it? That only kind of... Well, it was a very temporary working game before it fell out of date. Because all you have to do is bring in a new Doctor and you're fucked. <laughs> um, yeah, who remembers this? Who remembers 13 from Lockdown? Ooh, Lockdown. Who remembers it? Who remembers it? Professional streamer. If you say professional streamer every time I, my mic falls, Cooper, I'll not be happy. Let's just say that. Just leave it there. Just leave it at that. <laughs> um, yeah. Maybe it's something to do with the fourth Doctor. Live on BBC News is a story they call him the 14th Doctor. <clears throat> See, here's the thing with BBC News, though, right? And just, I, I'm not, he probably is the 14th Doctor. This isn't me. This is definitely me putting my sort of tinfoil hat on. But do not confuse the name BBC with everyone is in the in the know. Like, there's a very strong chance that if anything official hasn't stated that he's, what the fuck is this music? Um, <clears throat> I've put the old stuff back on. Damn me. 
Um, <clears throat> what was I going to say? Yeah, um, even though it's the BBC, it's, a lot of the time there's it's a diff different departments, different rules and stuff. It's like, I doubt even BBC News got the heads up of the new Doctor announcement. Probably a little heads up, yeah, but not like a massive one. And they definitely won't have been told the codes and conventions of, well, let's say this, let's say Shooty isn't the 14th Doctor. There's not going to be a note going around saying, do not announce him as the 14th Doctor. You know, the BBC, BBC News is as much of a news source as any at that point when it comes to these sorts of things. But then I could be wrong. Could be wrong. When I'm talking about official announcements, I'm talking about like official, like anything Russell's posted, anything Shooty's posted, anything the official Doctor Who accounts have posted. Um... George is wearing so much tin foil. He's a '60s monster. Love that. This is a good time to be a Doctor Who fan, though. Seriously, I think this is such an exciting ass time. Like 100%. What a great time. I I, I love this. I love the theorizing. I love the absolute batshit insane theories. I love all of it. I think it's it's so quintessentially like Doctor Who, and it's like in the sort of fandom kind of way that stuff's gonna be announced. Stuff and it's teased like an hour or so beforehand. You know, to sit and wait and theorise and live stream and talk about shit. Say what you want about not having a full reveal trailer for the Doctor. This is good marketing. Because I no longer have a Sunday night. I am now sat here at my desk doing this. Which in itself says a lot. <laughs> um, but yeah. It's all good. It's all good. We're all vibing here. We're having a good time. I've enjoyed this. See, this is the thing. is like, the last couple of years I've kind of been a... No, I'm not like not, I've never fell out of love with Doctor Who. I'm never, never going to have that. It's a show that I've watched since I was a kid. It's always going to have a special place in my heart, no matter how much I may or may not enjoy it at certain points in time. But at the moment, obviously, I've kind of like fell out of love with it a little bit, which is absolutely fair. I think a lot of people have felt that, and it's not a generalised thing. If you love Jodie's era, I, I'm just jealous of you, to be honest. I, I wish I could enjoy it as much as you guys enjoy it. Um, and I still get a lot of love for it, but at the moment, I'm just kind of like, okay, I'm kind of so ready for a new era now. And with Russell and with Shooty and with all that production crew and it going to a whole new uh, place to film it as well. That's just so exciting as a prospect. Like, I don't know who wouldn't be excited by that. So, it, it, I'm, I'm gassed up. It's exciting. You know, it's good stuff. Um, this game is giving me flashbacks. <laughs> uh, we'll have one, we'll have like one round of this and then we're going to go back on the form and read out what the updated things are. Um, yeah. But I, again, like, this is making me want to talk about Doctor Who again. It's making me want to do Doctor Who content. I was thinking about a whole new video idea the other day, and I had to stop myself. I was going, oh my god, I'm thinking about content again. Holy shit. I need to be getting a job. This isn't right. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it's it's great to be back, and it's great to talk about Doctor Who again when I'm actually excited to talk about it, and it doesn't feel, you know, wrong. It doesn't feel forced. Which it never, it didn't always feel but it gets to a point sometimes where you're like i feel like i'm uh, i'm speaking about this new filming news out of a feeling of responsibility more than personal enjoyment which is concerning <laughs> um 6 30 is just before bbc news they might have a big story to talk about then well, we'll check back at 6.30. Um, keep dropping your theories in here. I know I'm not really looking that much. There's going to be a new announcement everywhere. Well, there's two Sundays in a row now where we're going to get an announcement. So that's quite exciting. Um, yeah. Oh, man, I'd really love... Like, if I, if, I, if I was like... I know it's not going to be. If I was, like... And this is a question for chat, actually. If you could announce one thing now, what would you announce? Like, what would you reveal? What would you announce? If it was up to you, and you alone, what would you announce? And why? I would personally go for a Geordie-style costume reveal. We're talking, like, picture of the TARDIS, everything. Picture of the TARDIS, picture of the new costume, all of that stuff. Hey, we got to Eggleston. How exciting. What is this Bloody song. Horrible. <laughs> but then their back doesn't really suggest that to me, unfortunately, which is kind of a shame, but yeah. But it's not going to be that. Uh, next companions, outfit companions, Susan Foreman, Omega, played by Chris Marshall, <laughs> Christmas specials and the Christmas vibe back. I think we might get Christmas specials back, you know, I think that's like, 
That's not really an out there thing to predict. Not as the announcement today, but just generally, I think we're going to get them back. I think it's a big thing for the BBC. Or at least we thought it was, but then we haven't done them in a few years, so maybe not. But if anyone's going to do it, again, it'll be Russell. I find myself saying that quite a lot. It's like, if anyone's going to do this with Doctor Who, it's going to be Russell. <laughs> Which is an exciting thing to say. Because it's, you know, it's cool. Um, I'm trying desperately not to fuck this game up. <laughs> I want to get to Tenant. I think it will be appropriate if Tenant is announced tonight that we get to Tenant on this stupid bloody game. We could get there. I reckon we could. I reckon we got a good chance. We're almost at our high score on this game, which is exciting. Holy shit. Can you imagine? Imagine if we beat our high score on this stream. How exciting is that going to be? It's more exciting than the announcement, I'd think. Fuck, I fucked it up. That's the thing, it was probably, this is a, a really big issue of mine just generally, I think, is I just waffle on too much. I just talk. I talk too much. And that's a problem. <laughs> oh, man. What the fuck am I on? What am I talking about? Down. And. Oh, fuck. Why did I do that? That's stupid. But it worked! Haha! <laughs> yes, look at that, beautiful. Oh, <laughs> Matt Barry to play the master. I'd agree, that's a great shout. That's such a good shout. I love that. Um, I can't believe we know who the fourteenth Doctor is, though. Oh, I can't believe we know another actor who's going to play the Doctor. <laughs> Um, is this genuinely exciting? Jokes aside, is is absolutely. I say jokes aside as if there's any jokes to be had. It's, it's, a, it's a great casting decision. I'm not in any way complaining. It's brilliant. Struck a bloody genius on Russell's part once again. But I expect nothing less from Russell because he's fucking is a genius. <laughs> the man knows what he's doing with him. I've always said this. I've always said this. I've been saying this for years. No, I haven't. That's bollocks. But I, if you ask me, I probably would agree. He does know what he's doing with who. Um, oh, I've almost beat my high score. Would you look at that? Wow! I beat my high score! I beat my high score in 13! Can you believe it, guys? This is a historic day. We're going to get to Tenant. And it's going to be really fitting if Tenant is announced to re returning today. If that is the announcement, not only is that insane... But I'll also hit it on here, so it's exciting, you know what I mean? It's like, it's an exciting moment in history. You'll remember this. Where were you when David Tennant was announced to be returning to Doctor Who again? I was watching George Shear play 13 live on a uh, shitty YouTube live stream. Oh, wow, that's cool. I was doing something with my life. Oh, that's sick as well. <laughs> Things I just know I'm chatting shit now. <laughs> okay, we're almost... Come on. We can do this. I reckon we can do this. Easy. Come on. We got this. I'm like actually concentrating on it. Ah, oh, you... Ooh, that's so infuriating. You have no idea how annoying that is, actually. Oh, fuck. I thought we'd actually fucked it there. Okay. Oh, 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 hey. We're the War Doctor. See, we're doing well here. We've got a high score already, so I'm happy to, I'm happy to go here. Um, could Murray Gold be coming back? Um. Yeah, let's not talk about people like Neurotic and like Bullstruck and stuff. It's like, I think we've established this years ago that they were just... It, those sorts of people. It's like, each to your own. Like, if you want to just make out that everything is bad and everything is woke and everything is shit and the world is, you know, the worst thing and, like, no, you don't enjoy any media, then, yeah, you've got a depressing life. I'm sure you make a lot of money out of it. Well done. You've cracked the system. But, you know, they're either, one, talking shit most of the time, or... They're just doing their own thing. 
and they're just going to have a miserable life, so fair play to them. But I don't particularly enjoy any of that content, so it's not my cup of tea. If you want my opinion on it, that, that, that's it, really. I don't particularly care for that content, and that's absolutely fine. Some people do, and that's also fine. You're allowed to enjoy content, but I'm not going to say what that means that I think of you as a person, because that could be something completely different. I'm being an arsehole now. I'm aware, though. That's the difference. I'm aware I'm being an arsehole. <laughs> but yeah, no, the, those guys are the worst, but... Who cares? Like, just don't give them attention, is basically. I know it's like... Some people are never going to be happy. So just let them do their thing. You enjoy what you enjoy. If you like Doctor Who, that's fine. If you don't like Doctor Who, that's fine. Don't... Why argue about it? I mean, there's some things obviously you can argue about, it's fair enough, but... You know, it's just some things that it's like when it comes to like politics and stuff, the conversation just gets really boring and opinionated. And there's no right and no wrong then, so where do you stand? Well, where do I stand? I don't care. I don't care anymore. I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm tired. I want to go home. <laughs> I know I'm waffling. I know I'm talking shit. I don't care. That's... Oh. You see, man, like, things like that happen when I talk about bulls checking their rotic. That's what happens when the, when this shit happens. I just end up making mistakes like that. Thank you so much to SK Productions for the one pound seventy nine super chat. Hope it's ten and Donna, but just don't know. It could be genuinely anything at this point, and that would be incredibly exciting. We got like ten minutes. Holy shit, that's exciting. Um. I need to be careful with this next move here. Yeah, I fucked it. Oh, no, I haven't. Now I fucked it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we almost got to 10 in as well. Man. We got to 18,000. That's pretty good. Try and beat that. Um, Where are we at? Let's have a look at the Google form. How many responses we got now? Is the response we got? Is this all the responses? Yeah, 184. Let's read through. So we've got 69.6% um, of you, nice, think it's going to be an old doctor. Um, feels weird not calling you Ace Cooper anymore. It's fine. It's been over a year. It's fine. I'm just a person. I'm a person with a name. Um, yeah, just to clarify, when it is stuff like bigotry, sexism, homophobia. I kind of covered this. In my video, my last video talking about the new Doctor, I was clarifying that there's one thing having a political opinion on Doctor Who and having a general political opinion. There's another thing being an absolute... Yeah, I was going to say, being an absolute cunt, there's there's like... <laughs> if you're going to act like that and you're going to basically just be a terrible person, then obviously, yeah, don't like those people. But I just say, like, there's some point where it's got you've got to sort of raise people to it and go... People should know that these guys are being assholes, but then also don't give them attention. So it's that finding that nice balance. Um, anyway, sixty nine percent of you nice thought it was an old doctor or will be an old doctor. We've got like ten minutes. Uh, old companion is another thing as well. Fourteen percent of you, five percent of you thought it should be an old monster, and then one percent of you think it's gonna be an old BTS person, which is probably accurate to be honest. I think they're back with a big excited thing. It'll be very weird if it was just like a coal worker. Um, and then we go down to which doctor you think it'd be most likely. Again, 69% of you thought it was Tennant. Nice. Um, which I think is, again, very probably accurate. Is this a family-friendly channel? Danny, it, it's it's what it is now. It probably used to be. But if it's a family-friendly channel, then I can't monetize it. <laughs> I don't care. I, I, I don't... I don't care. What do you mean, this is Ace Creeper? Yeah. What? Cool. Do you just think I have some random guy? <laughs> Bro, I yeah, Age Creepers don't. Well, the name's gone. The name's just just the, the name just changed. It's the same channel. If you go back, the, all the old content's still there. Um, yeah, Tenant. A lot you said. Then, weirdly, the next one's McCoy for nine point two percent, which is a good shout. I'd like that. Oh, look at that! Bang on sixty nine percent. I'm gonna drop this joke now. It's not even funny. Um, Smith got eleven votes, which is again probably likely. Unfortunately, Smith recently has been seen with like quite long hair. Uh, which doesn't look anything like his doctory thing, so fair enough. Um, I don't think he's probably going to be the next do uh, next doctor. He's not going to be in the like coming back as the doctor 
anytime imminently if they are filming soon, but then they could just cut his hair on set, so who knows. Capaldi, 4.6, that's fair enough, it's probably not going to happen. McGann, oh, we'd all love it to happen, but it's just not. And then Tom Baker, probably 3% there. Tennant, again, is most likely. Donna, again, most likely, 55.3%. Um, some of you, though, are saying Martha, Rose, River. Um, again, probably the four most likely, um, you know, four most likely contenders there. How much for you to change about Space Creeper? Um, a monthly wage for the next year? Minimum wage? That'd be great, because that's exactly what I'm looking for right now. <laughs> um, I mean, you did do videos of you reacting to Doctor Who when drunk. Definitely not a family-friendly channel. Don't ever be. Yeah, I, um, it's been a while since we've been family-friendly. Probably since I came to uni, I stopped being a family-friendly channel. Um, yeah. This is what it is. And then we've got um, monsters. Less of you. Oh god, there's actually just more. There's just more people filling in the form here. I just thought it would it stopped. Um, Twenty nine point six percent. You said the master. Most of you said Daleks this time, actually, which is probably fair enough. Um, but yeah, then we've got Slothine and Weeping Angels, sort of joint third, which is fair enough. I'd love the Slothine to come back. That'd be so funny. But I don't think that's going to be the announcement today. Um, most likely BTS, Murray Gold, probably the only one Moffat, yeah, and then anything else is just sort of there. Um, Edgar Wright would be an interesting one, but obviously, even if it was, which it probably isn't going to be, um, he's not returning. He's never done Doctor Who before, so their back doesn't really make much sense. Six minutes until 6.30. Uh, what do you study at uni? Um... I study, <laughs> I, out I study contemporary media practice currently, and as of tomorrow, I will have studied contemporary media practice. That's my final deadline is tomorrow, so that's really exciting. Um, I seriously thought Ace Creeper was gone and George was someone new. He looks so different. Hello! I do look different. I don't look that different, though. I feel like if you go back um, far enough... The problem was, towards the end of Ace Creeper, I dyed my hair. But I feel like if you go back, you can probably see that. I'm the same person. I don't think I'd set us apart that much. Us being me and me. Um, but yeah, I guess the kind of content I made back then was different slightly. I also did a lot of stuff where it was just my voiceover, so it wasn't really much of like a, you know, like an in-person thing. I do a lot more face cam stuff now. Um, but there we are. That's a thing. Do you remember George Shea's blonde face? Yeah, my, my sort of quarter life crisis yeah i remember that exciting not really quarter life crisis is it probably is about a quarter life crisis really isn't it yeah second year uni had to reinvent myself had to get some lovely dyed hair <laughs> and now my hair's just short and messy because i'm cool look at me wearing a black t-shirt i like the lighthouse because i'm edgy yeah you know it <laughs> still can't believe you visited the set yeah that was exciting i can't believe it because it was so long ago now um, what do you mean by BTS? No, not the K-pop group, as in behind the scenes. <laughs> is it Zelda music? Yeah, it is. I just put a, like, a lo-fi copyright-free playlist on. And there's just a lot of just stuff here. Oh my god, Among Us. Among Us, is it? I've never played Among Us, you know, still. So it's some nice, peaceful music. There we go. Yeah, let's just bring it down a bit there. There we go. Look at that. Film, bro. <laughs> Talking to films. Watch my film podcast, please. Have you seen the Northman? I have seen the Northman. It was good. Wow, I'm wearing a black t-shirt as well. Good for you. We're edgy together. We're two, two edgy G's. 
I think the announcement could be the master in their own TARDIS some of the time, or the Rally, maybe. I really don't think it's going to be that. I think if, if it's going to be someone, they're back, I think it's either going to be like a monster that's back, or it's going to be like a returning actor, character, something like that. Fred the Random is now following me on Twitch. Thank you for the Twitch follow. If you want to follow me on Twitch, I don't know why I'm talking like the Burger King foot lettuce guy. What's that? Oh. Thank you for the Twitch follow. The last thing you want on your Burger King burger is someone's foot fungus. That's an old meme. Anyway, follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash gvshade, and your little name will pop up on screen for everyone to see. And if I see it, I might read it out. Who knows? Um, If I see it. I think Steve Coogan would be a good doctor. Um, doctor plus Viagra, innit? Yeah. What? Um, three minutes. Two minutes. Oh my god, it is two minutes. Fingers crossed we're going to get an announcement. Otherwise, I'm going to go mad for another half an hour and you're going to get some mental off bouncing off the walls George for about half an hour, which is quite exciting if that's what you're into. Um, Big Finish replied. Apparently coming back. Big Finish commented on the tweet. Big Finish, Big Finish commented on the tweet. Big Finish. Thank you, Bastion SS, for the follow on Twitch. Yeah, Big Finish commented. Yeah, the Big Finish intern commented. I don't know if... I don't know. I don't know if this is anything current era, though. I think this is something new, which will probably not be that involved with Big Finish. Sheepers150. Oh, but I could be wrong. Half Six announcement isn't confirmed, but they're going to announce something probably this evening. So we're just going to stream until it happens, I think. Lionfish Hours is following me on Twitch. Thank you very much. 30 seconds. God, oh, pardon me. Someone told me an announcement at 7. I'm not sure if it's true. It could be. It literally, like, anyone could be guessing at this point. It could just be any, like, at any, at any point. Could be right, could be wrong. A reliable source. Okay. Half six or seven. Well, it's almost half six now. Let's see. Are we ready? If it's not this, it'll probably be seven, I presume. Thank you to that person for following. Let's re just refresh this. Nothing. Let's check this. Nothing. Wow, look, nothing. Delta thingy, thank you for the Twitch follow. I'm actually doing quite well on Twitch follows today. Why me? Wow. 483 followers on Twitch now. We're gonna sh let's try and get up to 500. That would be amazing if we do that on this stream. There's 568 of you watching. So that's more than enough people to follow me on Twitch. Please do it. It'd be lovely. I'd really appreciate that. Thank you, Fergal96. Your name appears on the screen. I've heard nothing. There's nothing. No Doctor Who information. We're going to have to wait another half an hour. I might have nothing to do with BBC News, though. Usually they'd announce it first and then it'd be on BBC News later. Maybe they're doing it to, like... Like, maybe someone doesn't like BBC News and they're like, yeah, we're going to do it after BBC News. Yeah, fuck you guys. <laughs> something like that, maybe. I don't know. How do you know something's going to be announced? Because they've done this again. For those who are just joining. Um, again, 570 people watching is insane, by the way, and I really, really do appreciate it. Before we crack on with any of this other stuff, because now we're probably going to be waiting another half an hour. Um... If you look in the description, there's loads of social links. Please, if you're willing enough to just press a button, wait a couple seconds for your Wi-Fi to load, and then press another button. I'd really appreciate you following me on any and all of those kind of things. Twitch, obviously, I try and stream every Tuesday on there. So if you like me, and you think I'm funny, or you think I'm just bearable, if you think I'm just basically bearable, and like, okay, maybe I could listen to about three seconds of that before getting fucking bored, go home on my Twitch, drop me a follow. Um, I've also got Instagram and Twitter, at GBSheard, where I post either personal life stuff or some flaming hot and um, ice cold takes on Twitter as well. So that's fun. And then what else? Yeah, I have, um, I have, what else do I have? I have a podcast. I have a film podcast called Spill Your Beans. We do a new episode every single Friday. And that's also linked in the description below. So you can go and check that out as well. There's all my social links. If you're not already following those, um, whether you're new here or not, if you're not already following those, I'd really appreciate you checking those out. And if you are new here, subscribe! <laughs> We're almost at bloody 24,000 now. It's insane. So thank you for that. Thank you, Dark Shadow, for that following. We've got loads of new followers. Again, thank you. I'm glad they all appear on the screen. Um, oh my god, we're five followers away from 500 followers on Twitch. That would be insane if we could do that. Again. Oh my god. 
genuinely amazing. Thank you to the Jordan again for following. Wow, that's actually insane. Um, holy shit, that's actually really exciting. Pin tweet removed, someone said. Actually, no, it's still there. Pin tweet's still there. Pin tweet is still there. Pin tweet's still there. Um, like, okay. Reload. I've reloaded. I've reloaded. You've seen me reload. You've seen me reload. Thank you for the Twitch followers. Have we actually hit it yet? I think we might have actually hit it. Or oh, it's just catching up. Oh, we're one follower away from 500 on Twitch. That would be insane if we could hit that today. Again, I, I did you. I'm just asking. And, like, you guys have just done it. So I really, really appreciate that. I'm going to just drop that on screen right now. Um, Like... Uh, you see, you guys are actually insane. You guys are nice people. You are great. You guys are... You guys are... The absolute G's. Thank you to all these people on screen who are following. Um, if you're thinking, oh, this sounds fun. I want to get in on the mix. I want to get in on the on the, on the on the cool people gang. You can head over to twitch.tv slash gbshield now. I'm going to put it in the chat again. Um, press that button. Press the bo follow button. There we go. It's exciting. But I appreciate it, seriously. I, mean, I, I know I'm joking around and I'm pissing about, but I really, really do appreciate all of you guys following that. That's actually insane that that's just jumped up to 500 like now. Um, thank you so, so much. I really, really appreciate that. <sighs> Blimey, God. Um, yeah. Cyber Sarge is live on Twitch. Do you have an apology for him? I don't really know who that is. Sorry. Cyber Sarge. Who is the Cyber Sarge? Is it someone that I've probably raided at some point on a, on a stream? Um, Varys uploads very often, and he's smashing it. So, yeah, he's got more viewers. Good on him. He deserves it. He actually uploads. Whereas I have less free time to dedicate to Doctor Who. Um, and get... Bloody hell. It's just Toga. Thank you for the Twitch subscription. Um, wow, that's insane. Um, thank you so much for that. Um, yeah, no, let's, I don't compare, like, viewers and stuff and all that sort of thing. Like, everyone's, um, it's everyone's sort of time to shine, in it? And, um, like, when I started growing in the Doctor Who community, there's a lot of people going, who's this? Who's this dickhead? Um, and then someone else does it. Like, I'm, I'm not the new kid on the block anymore. I'm the retired man kicking the door back down and going, I've still got one more series left. Let me in. <laughs> You know, I'm the Picard of Doctor Who YouTubers, basically. I'll be in my 80s, kicking down the door, going, I am here, and I'm ready to do some more theories. Um, but yeah, no, like, if he's got more viewers than this, fair fucking play. I'm perfectly content with this. I'd be content with 200 less than this, easily. Um, but much, much appreciated either way. Thank you for sticking around on this stream, if you are here. I really appreciate that. Um... But yeah, no, Doctor Who community is really weird. It's like every now and then, every few years, you'll get um, you'll get people kind of, um, you get new people all the time. We'll get someone rise up and be like, who the hell's this? So like when I started YouTube, the Who Addicts and like Crispy Pro were probably looking and going, who's this? Who's, who's this idiot talking about bloody Percy the Cat and uh, all that sort of shit? And I sort of, I was sort of, like appeared in the community and then I've sort of made more of a name for myself and then now I've been to a point where I'm like, actually, I'd rather focus on something that isn't Doctor Who and isn't YouTube, and I'll do other things. Um, but I'll do YouTube when I want to do it, not out of... Like, I don't feel... Like, I used to upload once a week, at least. I used to upload, like, twice a week at one point, and I just don't do that anymore. I don't like doing that. It, it's not fun for me. So I took a step away from that. I took a while away from YouTube, focused on uni, focused on my other personal stuff, focused on my freelance stuff. And now I'm back, baby. I'm back. I'm back and I'm doing non-weekly content. I'm just doing content when I want to do it. So I don't give a shit about viewers. I don't give a shit about subscribers. Subscribe if you want. Unsubscribe if you want. Like, dislike, comment, watch it. Spin around in a circle. Jump on the ceiling. Like, do what you want. I don't give a shit. But the point I'm making is that there's always going to be new people on the block. I'm not the new kid on the block anymore. I'm the retiree coming, kicking the door back down and going... I still got one more series left. I don't know why that was more Johnny Vegas than old person, but you get the point. Um, 
I'm, 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 that's, that's, that's me. And I'm here and I do Twitch and I do a podcast and don't care who sees it, whether you see it or not, it's exciting, but the more the merrier. Um, again, with Twitch, it's great to see so many of these wonderful people on the corner of the screen here following my Twitch, um, which is now at 517 followers, which is insane. I mean, what? Absolutely insane number of followers there. Um, and I really, really appreciate that. So, cheers. Um, but yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not a retiree in life. I've just started having a life and a career and I went to uni. I haven't had, you know, back when Jodie started, I could just come back in from school. I could just chat about Dr. Hill and like, oh my God, look at the Rosa Parks bus and look at this cat. Um, whereas like, now I just like, I've, I've got so much to do and I, I can't put the time into Dr. Hill without hating it. It sounds horrible. That's not what I mean. And I mean, like, if I do put the, if I put the same amount of time into my content that Faris puts in, if I uploaded as much as he did, to a quality that I was happy with, I would be, I'd be going mad. I would, I would hate it. I'd hate the show. Whereas now I do it when I want, and I'm excited. And you get little fun George here. Ha ha! Fun edgy George with his edgy black and white T-shirt. Um, it's great stuff. Oh, not Josh Carr's ceiling. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm, I am worried that one day when I'm live streaming and something exciting happens that Josh Carr will appear through my ceiling. He will be on his own ceiling, go through his own ceiling, fly across to the centre of London and poof, into my ceiling. It's a concern of mine. Oh, he'd be welcome. He'd be welcome on a live stream. Of course he would. Loving your podcast, mate. Keep it up. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Already loads of followers again on Twitch. Thank you so much for the Twitch followers. Absolutely insane. Not even have to ask anymore. We just jumped up about like 100 followers on Twitch, and that's just absolutely insane. We go live every Tuesday, by the way, so get your notifications on. Um, Avaganda. And again, thanks to all the new Twitter followers as well. They don't pop up on screen, but I'm seeing you guys, so thank you. Yeah, the thing is, like, I, I was making Doctor Who content from when I was about 12. I only kind of took off when I was about 16. I was the new kid on the block. Everyone was like, who the frig's this? And now I've been on YouTube a couple of years. There's going to be a, another new kid on the block. So, like, Farry's started to appear and do stuff. And, like, um, Jack, like, the Who community show, like, he started to appear really recently. It's like, every now and then, the Doctor Who community, it's such a creative, wonderful community that... Um, has its issues, sure, but also has a lot of love in it and a lot of creativity and a lot of passion in it and there's always going to be new people who come up with exciting new things. It's like, when I did YouTube, I was like, oh, I'll do like Drunk Lords and I'll do those audio adaptations and I'll do things that I find fun and enjoyable and I did like loads of news stuff, sure, which gets views, but I did stuff I enjoyed, stuff that was different. And then you get other people who will do, also do things that are different and try new things and be excited about that and that's all well and cool and that's absolutely fine. I'm excited to see what other people can do. It's the Rosas. Yeah, they're after us. They're after us. No, it's it's just I live in central London. That's just the problem, really. You just hear police sirens all of the time. You just get used to it. You just get used to it, don't you? Just get a bit, get a bit used to it. But yeah, I am waffling now. But yeah, we do need more women YouTubers. There's not there's not many that I can think of other than like if you cut out like reactionary Doctor Who YouTubers, like people who do reactions. Not many. And we need more with bigger names for themselves as well, you know. Um, you lot are like the Illuminati of the Doctor Who fandom. That's disgusting. Oh, I hate that. I hate that comparison. No, I'm literally, at this point, it's like, at one point in time, I was like, oh, yes, I like to make Doctor Who content. I like to talk about this. Look at this leak. Look at these news articles. Look at this. Look at that. And now I'm just like, I'm just like, I'm a guy who, when I see something interesting or I hear about something interesting going on, if I'm there and I can do something, I will do it. I will do it. I will do it. It's just scary living in London now. It's great. I love it. Um, I wonder who's been around the longest that still currently uploads. It's got to be Mr. Tardis or Batman much. 100%. Crispy still uploads every now and then. He might have a few months off every now and then, but he's still he's still going about. But it's... Yeah, uh, Ginger Animator. Hi, man. Yeah, again, like, people started back then. Like, for me, like, I still, in some cases, feel like the new kid. But I've been around long enough now that... There's other new kids, and I'm a bit. I'm. I'm becoming like. Oh, who are these guys? I'm the new kid. Piss off. 
<laughs> but I don't, I don't care anymore now. I'm just kind of like, um, I'm just vibing, you know? I don't really give a shit. <laughs> I, I have fun. I have fun. And I do, I do what I do and I enjoy it. And, you know, I do it when I want to do it, opposed to feeling like I have to do weekly content. Which I think is a, the case with a lot of YouTubers who have been doing it for a while. When life gets in the way and you have to do other things, it's like, you have to... Yeah, exactly. It became a bit of a chore last year and I kind of stepped away from it because I'm like, I want to get a bit of a hold on what my life is. Chris will be back um, weekly stuff now. Got him on the podcast. Yes! I saw I saw that. I remember that. I do. I, I, I remember that. I, I, I see that every now and then. So, yeah, go and check out Red Archer Live and Crispy Pro's Doctor Who podcast. You'll have to remind me of the name because I'm a, a dumb fuck, but please put it in the chat and I'll shout it out. Um, get people on that. Get people on that. JX, he's not a new kid. Jay has been around for 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 years, um, but um, but she makes great content. So she's made like bigger content, more obvious out there content about Doctor Who re more recently. Wingy, yeah, Wingy's been around for years. Love Wingy. Vote Saxon, God, vote Saxon as well. Yes, of course. Still watch Vote Saxon. TARDIS Archives. I, I, I can't even remember what TARDIS Ar Archives used to make now. To be honest. I know, I know Crispy's watching. I've, I've seen I see him. I see his little name popping up every now and then. Yeah, I remember when I started in the Who community, I first reached out to Crispy and um, the Who Addicts, and they were both very welcoming, especially Crispy Pro, obviously. Um, who's wonderful and always does collaborations whenever it's thrown. Uh, whenever there's like an idea of something I've had that's Doctor Who related. When I used to make more Doctor Who content. Anytime I had an idea, I was like, hey, what about this? And he'd be like, I'm 100% down. Give me a date, let's work it out. And this is someone whose time zone is like the other side of the world. Like we did recording sessions at like one in the morning at some point. Like he'd be waking up at like nine in the morning to get shit faced to watch um, Let's Kill Hitler. Insane, man. <laughs> it remembers Ace Creeper. <clears throat> Davis is a great thing. Is I, I feel like if I yeah, the one thing yeah, Stu Bagful is the one like YouTuber now that I feel like I religiously watch. Um, like I really, really watch a lot of Stu Bagful. I don't know what it is about his content or his style. I quite like the low key style. Um, <clears throat> love that. Have you heard of the Timeless Doctors Project? I have. It's a fantastic sort of collaborative piece. I'm excited for it to come out. I feel like I've been waiting for it for ages. But it's exciting. It's cool. It's really cool. Really, really cool. <clears throat> so we've got about 15 minutes until the announcement's going to come round. It's been really nice. I'm, I'm still enjoying talking about like old YouTube and stuff. Because I feel like people are interested in this. From my perspective, it's very much like a thing where... I'm just a person who makes content, and then it's like loads of people see it, and it's like, oh shit. I said there's not a point where I grew as a content creator on YouTube in terms of Doctor Who. There was a point where I uploaded one video about Doctor Who, it popped off, and I just kept doing the same thing until people stuck around for me and Doctor Who stuff, but not specifically that one video. And that's it. Um... There's loads of there's loads of um, there's loads of great Doctor Who YouTubers and I can't like sit here and remember them all because I feel like I'll miss. Um, Fifteen minutes until seven o'clock, so I'm assuming something's gonna happen at seven. If not, we'll just keep going till half seven. Um, if there is something at seven, live reaction. <laughs> yeah, there's loads of great Doctor Who YouTubers and um, ones like absolutely. Oh, hello, Velvet J, five pounds super chat donation. Thank you so much. Have you seen Echoes? End fan film by Hafiz Adipose. He's currently working on the sequel. I haven't. I, I'm really bad with these sorts of things. Like, keeping up to date with Doctor Who fan content is so difficult, and I'm, I really do try. Um, it's like... Um, yeah, it's exciting. <laughs> what do you know? I don't fucking know anything. I, I, I was just like... I, last time they had a post, and an hour later, an announcement. This time there was a post, and it's already been an hour... I'm expecting something. <laughs> um, yeah, Cancer Geeks. There's so many great ones. The thing is, if I, if I try and like list, do a list of them all, 
I'll end up missing out ones that I love, and it's stupid. <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah. There's some great content creators, and I always love when a content creator does something interesting. Something I always try to do with mine. To set myself out and not do the same sort of stuff. I love talking about news and filming stuff. Of course I do. As much as the next man. It's always nice to theorize about that stuff. The content that I really love making. Last of the Drunk Lords was always really fun. Reacting to Doctor, Doctor Who whilst drunk was always quite fun. You know, that's great. Um, I love doing the audio drama adaptations. Um, and I've loved doing the complete history of the Doctor. That was such an exciting thing. So got to animate stuff and do stuff and play around with that. Um, super, super exciting. Um... Um, yeah, but, I, and I love when other Doctor Who YouTubers do the same thing, where they, they sort of step out from the norm and do something really exciting and different and cool. Kane Unable, great example of that, is a sort of newer YouTuber who people might not be as aware of, makes a hilarious series called Poorly Animated Doctor Who, you should definitely go and put it on YouTube if you haven't already, it's so, so funny. I cameoed in the last one that they did. Um... I played the sock slut. <laughs> Watching Let's Kill Hitler drunk was uh, with you was a fever dream. It was. It was so fun. I loved that. TV Zone have tweeted. Yeah, I'm not sure what they know. Um, if anything, thank you so much again to Edward Hulse for the four pound forty nine donation. This weekend has been unbelievable. UK comes second in Eurovision. Now this possible new Doctor Who news. What is Russell D. Davis doing? The absolute mad lad. I completely agree. And it's a wonderful, wonderful time. Um, I'm going to just tweet something out. If something gets announced, we'll be reacting and theorizing live on YouTube. Come join. Have a good time. Um, yeah. Just sharing out the stream. Is that how you spell theorizing? Yeah, it is. I'm not using the American spelling. DW 2012. Yeah, great channel. Um, yeah. TV Zone is a good source. It's a great source. Very reliable source. Do I say there are one... They might be in the know. They might have information on what's being announced. But, like, I don't know if they 100%... Do, you know what I mean? It's like one of those things that's like, I, I don't know... I'm not sure if they are like 100% official, but it depends probably from article to article. Some of the stuff they probably get a heads up on, some of them they probably don't, and it just depends on what it is at the time. Um, I trust them, but I wouldn't put my faith in it for like an announcement like this because they could just be theorizing like the rest of us. They could just, they know, they, they're, a, they're a growing Twitter account. They want to get traction. Um, they're a great source for TV news, but again, at the end of the day, it's like, I could tweet the same things, maybe. Um. <clears throat> yeah, it's reliable. Yeah, those midnight flux images. See, they were good for them. They had the images. They knew when it was going out. Rachel Talalay just retweeted. Oh, Rachel. Rachel Talalay. What? <laughs> Wait a minute, what? <laughs> uh, could you imagine if Nardle was coming back? Wait, what? See, that's weird, right? Because she retweeted that and then posted this with no context. Now, either she's just having us on. Hmm. This is weird now. <laughs> Could you imagine if Nardole was coming back? What a, what a, what a massive announcement. See, that would be a massive announcement because it's really weird. Um, mad. Can you imagine if Nardole came back? That would be so funny. Well, we've got eight minutes. Oh, look at that little Twitch notification. Oh, I've got a cute Twitch notification there. Um... Nardo would be great. It would be, I don't know how that would work. 
but it would be funny. Maybe for the 60th. But then, like, do we, I mean, hang on. We're, we're assuming that already that Rachel Teller lays in the north. She might not be. She might just be posting this to fuck with us. Not all returning, question mark? Not all returning? Maybe? Maybe not? I don't know. That's weird, though. But I feel like she wouldn't be allowed to put that out if she was in the know, and that was the announcement. I also feel like it would be a very strange... Answer. Yep, they can be a plural, but it can also be um, a sort of gender-neutral term, so it can apply to someone who's non-binary, it can apply to someone who identifies as a woman, it could be applying to someone who identifies as a man. Russell's been very clever with that because it does not narrow it down in the slightest. The good thing about this is we actually have no idea what the announcement's going to be today. Last time it was like we're waiting an hour for it to be officially confirmed that Shooty was the Doctor. Whereas this, if they announce something now, is completely brand new. Anyone who's watching this stream is going to be reacting and theorizing live. So if something is announced in like six minutes, probably won't be, knowing my luck. But if something is... It's going to be live on stream. We're going to look at it. We're going to react to it. We're going to talk about it. And you guys can be here for that. Get your get your theories in. Get your theories in. Get your thoughts in. And we're going to be discussing it. So, yeah. Lovely stuff. Talalair being in Cardiff and taking selfies with Capaldi a few weeks back. Was that a thing? Oh my god. It's all coming together. <laughs> I feel like, out of all people, I, I feel like Capaldi would not be the one returning. Um, but maybe I'm wrong? Watch that come to bite me in the arse in about five minutes. Um, Rachel Talalair hasn't posted anything on Instagram. She did post a photo with, um, um, she posted a photo with Capaldi back in April. Yeah, but, again, with no caption. These things might just be, like, completely irrelevant. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm actually a bit on the edge of my seat now, because I'm sort of like, what if something is announced in five minutes' time? And now I'm like, oh god, what's it going to be? So I'm like, my heart's kind of like racing now. 604 concurrent viewers is insane, by the way. Thank you all to all 600 of you for watching live. Um, <clears throat> we're just going to vibe for a bit. And if something's announced in five minutes, then that'll be insane. And we'll get to talk about it and theorize about it and all that sort of thing. Get the Doctor Who page back up just in case. Thank you for the follow. Everyone is talking about the Nardol thing and it's so funny. Can you imagine if it was Nardol returning? How like weird it would feel. Imagine the big announcement is Nardol's coming back. Dun dun dun! Nardol! Insane. Okay, let's close these forms. Actually, let's open up that last that form one last time. Let's open it up. Let's Let's run through it one last time. I'm looking for things to do for the next five minutes. Um, 217 responses. Let's close responses. We're not accepting responses anymore. 70% um, of you think it's going to be an all-doctor announcement. 13% of you think it's going to be an all-companion. 5% of you think it's going to be an all-monster. And then there's loads of other random bullshit in there as well. Um, there we go. Um, if it was an all-doctor, 69.6% .6 of you think it's going to be tenant. Then 8% of you think it's going to be McCoy, 6% Smith, 4% Capaldi, 3% McGann, and then again, a bunch of other random names seen in there. Um, mm, 
most likely companion. No one voted Nardal. Oh, four people. 1.8% of people might be right here. 55% uh, of you said Donna. 12.9% of you said Martha. 8.8% .8 of you said Ritter. 6% of you said Rose. 2.3% of you said Amy. Got two minutes. Just trying to keep an eye on the time. Got two minutes exactly. Uh, most likely monster to return. Uh, most of you again. 32.7% of you said Daleks. Then 29.5% of you said the Master. 10.6% of you said the Slaveen. 9.7% of you said Weeping Angels, um, which would be interesting. Again, I think Daleks, out of the monsters, I think Daleks are probably the most likely. Murray Gold, if it's behind the scenes, but I don't think there's any behind the scenes announcements coming today. I think saying they're back in relation to a, um, a co-worker would be very strange, but you never know. You never know. And then there's loads of random notes in there, which if you want to take the time to read, you absolutely can. We thought we'll put a big nappy on. That's why we don't talk to the Doctor Who community about anything. Um... Okay, right. Well. I'm actually nervous because in one minute there could be an announcement. And there also might not be. In one minute we might also have disappointment. And then we'll be playing like more Doctor Who games for like half an hour. I don't want any more mystery. My heart is racing. I don't even know if you can hear it. But my heart's like racing out of its chest. My hands are shaking a little bit. Look at that. Look how sad that is. That's really depressing, isn't it? That I'm like sat here on a Sunday night like, ooh, my uni deadline's tomorrow. And I'm sat here going, ooh, look at the emojis. Look at the emojis on Twitter. SFX Instagram story. Yeah, they just, they just posted the thing. They didn't really... Um, um, oh gosh, okay, here we go. Is there anything? Anything? <gasps> no fucking way! What? <laughs> no! I need to see the article! What are you on about? I need to see the article! I need the article! No! David Tennant and Catherine Tate are back to Doctor Who. Officially confirmed. Um, what? 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 <laughs> what? Holy shit. Nothing's working. If someone can get me a working link, you're getting a fat shout out. I need to see what's being said here. What? What the fuck? They're back. Um, bio, link, website, website, news, features, all, latest news, no other, what do you mean my region, I'm in the UK, someone get me a working link, for fuck's sake, <laughs> the interviews, they're not there, I want to see what's being said, I want to see what it's for, what's it for, well, let's just say 70% of you, well, 69% of you were right, 55% of you were right there, Someone get me a working link. I, it, it, the website's crashed. So many people have tried to open it. I can't. <laughs> Spell things right. It will come to bite me in the ass. Come on. Is there another? I'm looking at Insta. There's nothing. I can't see. Hang on. TV zone. They probably have a link, don't they? That doesn't that doesn't help TV zone. <laughs> this is chaos. There's so many people. The site is overloaded. If anyone can get anything, get it to me. Get a screenshot to me or anything. Just anyone who's got any screenshots of the interviews, the articles, anything like that. Let's get on it. Let's get on it. Oh my god. Uh, um, where is it? <laughs> oh, I mean, if it's going to be anything that gets people on board, it's them two, isn't it? David Tennant and Catherine Tate. No wonder Catherine Tate's been so bloody sheepish at the interviews. That's insane. That's just a photo. Um... Oh, okay, hang on. 
Right, Radio Times has done it. Okay, oh my god. Is it a working link? Right, Radio Times has sent something. We've got loads of message requests on Twitter. Okay, hang on. We've got someone who sent me messages here. Well done. Thank you to Alex Harfass who sent me them. The Doctor and Donna parted ways when the Doctor had to wipe Donna's memory, making her forget him. In order to save her life, he left her family with a warning. If she ever remembers, she will die. But with the two coming face to face once more, the big question is, what brings the Doctor and Donna back together? The, the rest of the year says they're back and it looks impossible. First we announce a new Doctor and then an old Doctor, along with the wonderful Donna. What on earth is happening? Maybe this is a missing story, or a parallel world, or a dream, or a trick, or a flashback. The only thing I can confirm is that there's going to be spectacular as two of the greatest stars reunite for the Battle of a Life time i fucking cannot wait i'm like in ah in disrepair i don't even know if that's a word it might not be <laughs> um oh my god okay okay that's what we've got there they're back um the only thing i can confirm is going to be spectacular as two of our greatest stars reunite for the battle of a lifetime oh my god Oh my god. <laughs> I cannot believe this. I <laughs> I love that as well. That's really funny. Um I can't believe this. What? Are you joking? This is insane. So, I mean, right, let's just cover this, like, immediately and stop freaking out for a second. Right. So, there's a couple things for this. First of all, we've got the new Doctor announcement. Shooty Gatwa, the new Doctor. Again, didn't say 14th. Just saying. I mentioned this an hour ago. Interesting. And now, I'm going to have to turn my mic down because I'm shouting too fucking loud. And then, we have that announcement. It's absolutely massive. And then, to top it off, we have... This announcement at the like the week after going. By the way, David Tennant and Catherine Bloody Tate are returning to Doctor Who again. What the fuck is going on? I don't know, but I love it. I'm totally, totally here for this. If anyone was watching like a couple of the new series and were like, "Oh, this isn't. I don't know if this is really for me." I, uh, it's, I mean, it's all right. It works, but it's not. You know, it's not what it used to be. This is what it used to be. Exciting. Come on, look at this. Look at this. Oh. Oh my god. This is going to be so good. Is he a new doctor? Is Tennant going to be in between? Or is he going to be a missing story? Is this going to be based around that time? This kind of has to be based around that time. What the fuck is going on? Are you kidding me? Are you in... Uh, what? So they're announcing this as well because they're probably going to be filming this soon. So... Oh, we've got to be on that. We've got to see if anyone's... I mean, my God. Just seeing Tennant in public with Catherine Tate in their outfits, you know, would be exciting to see. And just, it would be real. And this is just... It, uh, what is going on? Yeah, the, the Doctor Who website will not load. It's, it's fucking broken because obviously too many people are trying to see what's being said. There we go. Something went wrong. Still not loading. Um, oh, my God. Are you, like, kidding me, though? That is insane news. Like, I know it's a bit like, oh, is it taking a bit of a back step? Oh, is it the best thing? It's the 60th anniversary special. It was always going to be weird for a new Doctor to start on such a massive anniversary when the last massive anniversary brought had, like, a multi-Doctor special. Whereas now what we're doing is we're going to go... We're going to go back to an old Doctor. Remember these fan favourites? Because not only is it David Tennant and Catherine Tate returning, it's David Tennant and Catherine Tate returning, written, written, written by fucking Russell D. Davis. What is happening? And it's not Big Finish. It's not a fever dream. It's not a comic. TV, baby. I have lost my mind. I don't even know what to say about this. This is just absolutely insane that this is official. That in, like, next, like, this year we got obviously the centenary. Exciting, exciting, exciting. Ace and Tegan and maybe more returning. And 
next year, we've got Hussein Wilf. Is that confirmed? I'll cry if Wilf Mott's returning. I mean, he's got to, surely. The family's got to be there. Unless Donna's just doing her own thing now. But Donna forgot. Unless this is genuinely based in that era. This explains why Catherine Tate's been so, like, fishy in interviews. Oh my god. I, 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 I don't know. I, I, I don't know what to say. I, I, I don't. I genuinely, I know you're looking at your, all eyes on me here. 565 people watching this live stream expecting me to come up with some decent intellectual commentary based on my many years of watching Doctor Who and my many years of presenting Doctor Who news videos. But fuck me, I don't know what to say, my guy. I do not know what to say about this because it's just, it's just there. They've just done it. This isn't a mad theory on Reddit. This is, this is happening. So my theory again is, is this is going to be the 60th anniversary special, isn't it? Oh my god. So it's either going to be like a degeneration into an older doctor. But then how is Catherine Tate back? That's the thing for me is how are they doing that? Because Catherine Tate's Donna had a really nice send off on the end of time. How are they going to do that again? Bit under what? How? Oh, I mean, fair enough. If it's not your cup of tea and it feels like a bit of a back step, I can totally understand that. <clears throat> but for me, like, this is super, super, super exciting. Hang on. Hang on. Yeah, where's that? What was said there? Oh, it's still not working. 60th anniversary celebrations. Multiple specials. Yeah, where's this said is the problem. I, I'm being sent it on Messenger and stuff. Oh, they, 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 they both look so happy. On the official website, it says they're back. David Tennant and Catherine Tate return to Doctor Who. One of the most loved pairings in Doctor Who's history have reunited and are filming scenes that are due to air in 2023 to coincide with the show's 60th anniversary celebrations. Celebrations. Oh, is there going to be more than one special? But I, this is the thing. I don't think this is David Tennant and Catherine Tate alongside... Shooty. I mean, it might be. Hey, it bloody might be. I don't even know what to say about this. How the fuck? How do you even? What? The how? I don't even know. Like, my my messages are just popping off. I think everyone's excited about this. It's three specials. Who said it's three specials? Where's that confirmed? Is that confirmed? Is that out there? Is that out there? No, I, no, I just point that out. Eggleston is never returning if Russell's still there. It's the same production crew. It's the same execs. That he said before that that hasn't healed. That's not gonna. That's not gonna happen. Um, absolutely insane. I don't know how to do this. Um. What the fuck? Uh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I think I can agree with a lot of people where it's like, oh, it's a shame that this is the com Doctor Companion duo that they're going to bring back for like a one-off special. It would have been cool to see like McGann. It would have been cool to see like another Doctor Who needs... I'm going to turn this shit music off. Sorry about that. Bloody hell. Um... It could have been cool to see like another doc, like another Doctor Companion, because it obviously like Tennant's back all the time. Like Tennant is constantly doing Doctor Who stuff, and fair play to him. Um, I uh, yeah, I'm 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 I don't I just I'm genuinely like this is the first time I think in a while with news for Doctor Who that I've been stumped with what to say. The last time I think I felt like this was when John Sim was announced to be returning for series ten. Yeah. Um, this is the showrunner's quote. This is what Russell T. Davis has said. Um, they're back and it looks impossible. First, we announce a new Doctor and then um, and then an old Doctor, along with the wonderful Donna. 
what on earth is happening? The cool thing about this is already, it's it's not like a Rose Tyler thing, Billy Piper thing with the 50th where it's like, Billy Piper's coming back, but she's not playing Rose Tyler, she's playing the Mormon. This is confirmed there is Donna. So Donna and an old doctor, maybe it's a missing story or a parallel world or a dream or a trick or a flashback. The only thing I can confirm is that it's going to be spectacular. Okay, so a few things just based off that, right? If it's a missing story, like in their era, cool. I like that. That's a cool concept. Um, weird, but it works for like the 60th anniversary. I like that. <clears throat> um, if it's if it's a parallel world, I'm a hundred percent down there for that. Jodie regenerates and flings herself into a parallel version. Of Earth. I mean, after Flux, it kind of makes sense as well. Not that they're going to really do anything with that, but, you know, still. What's Russell said? Russell T. Davis. Let's have a look what he said. <clears throat> You'll find... Okay, they're back. Doctor and Donna. But how? He wiped her memory. If she remembers, she'll die. But is... But... But... Is it a flashback, a dream sequence, a lie, a fantasy, a parallel universe, ultimate Doctor, the land of fiction? You'll find out in 2023 as Doctor Who hits its 60th diamond anniversary. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Stop now. Stop. No more announcements. So for me, that's screaming like... Okay, um, they're going to be filming that soon. So we might see them filming at some point. In the next few weeks, I'm guessing. <clears throat> and, like... Some people aren't here for it. But I'm I'm, 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 I'm here for it. There were some rumours a while ago talking about this, and we all ignored it. And, I, yeah, fair enough. But I'm kind of glad we ignored it, because I feel like if we were just expecting it, then it wouldn't have been as exciting, this announcement. Um, how it started, how it's going. Ah! What the fuck? <laughs> um... So the, the the diamond emoji thing is actually for the diamond none of it like diamond Doctor Who thing. That's exciting as fuck. I can't believe this. Um Barry's raid? <laughs> Did Barry stop live streaming? What like stop live streaming right now? That's a mad time to stop live streaming, my guy, Jesus. Um This is insane though. Like this is genuinely insane. I don't even know what to think about this. Um I I don't I don't know it's it's <clears throat> so okay um oh god could you imagine could you imagine if the sixtieth opened with the tenant era title sequence I'd cry I'd cry like five minutes into an episode ah so this is we got the centenary this year the hundredth anniversary of the BBC and they're doing a big thing they're bringing back Ace they're bringing back Tegan next year. We're going to get not just a new Doctor, but we're going to go to David Tennant and Catherine Tate for the 60th anniversary. So here's what I'm presuming, right? Is that either Shooty's first episode is going to coincide with David Tennant and Catherine Tate or the, the, tenth and, the Tenth Doctor and Donna in the middle of their like one of their stories or adventures. Or or David Tennant is like the next Doctor degenerated. So Jodie's going to degenerate into Tennant and then regenerate into Shooty. Um... I really don't know. Um, <clears throat> yeah, the thing is, they're currently filming. That's what the BBC says. They're currently filming. Look at Georgia Tennant's tweet. You know, the interesting thing is everyone was saying they spotted David Tennant as well in Cardiff. I'm just seeing Georgia Tennant's tweet. I don't even follow her. I'm not saying it. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, every time the like when Jodie was announced, I think she said hi mom. When Shitty was announced, she said hi dad. And now she's not saying it. <laughs> I don't know if that's the reference, but that's funny. If it is that, that's very funny. Um The article's still not loading. It's just completely crashed. Oh man. How exciting, man. That's actually insane. The BBC just put the full story up. Where is that? Okay, where can I see that? Like here, you can go on the website, you can look at the shooty article. You can't open this article. 
probably locked for a while. I don't know, maybe, maybe they locked it for a reason or something. Um, I, I, yeah, I don't... I see this in good faith. Can the show please move on from the 10th Doctor already? It's not healthy. Okay, so there's a good point there, and we'll talk about this, because I think it is worth talking about, is... It is worrying to some extent when you're you know, you're backpedaling to the point of do you remember this? Do you remember this? Do you remember this? I think I think Doctor Who's been on a, a bit of a downward spiral in terms of general awareness and popularity in the public. And I'm not saying everyone's like BBC, BBC, BBC. Okay, let's read through that first and then let's talk about my hot takes. Um Is this the article that I looked up by I clicked oh, here we go. One of the most beloved pairings in Doctor Who's history have reunited and they're filming scenes. They are filming scenes, current, that are due to air in 2023 to coincide with the show's 60th anniversary celebrations. The Doctor and Donna parted ways when the Doctor had to wipe Donna's memory, making her forget him in order to save her life. He left her family with a warning. If she ever remembers, she will die, but with the two coming face to face once more, the big question is just what brings the Doctor and Donna back together? Russell D. Davis sure runs us their back and it's impossible. It looks like the same, same, thing, yeah, same thing as before. They're back and it looks impossible. First we announce a new Doctor, then an old Doctor, along with the wonderful Donna. What on earth is happening? Maybe it's a missing story, parallel world, dream, trick, flashback. The only thing I can confirm is that it's going to be spectacular as two of our greatest stars reunite for the battle of a lifetime. In his last ever episode, David's critically acclaimed portrayal of the Doctor famously said, I don't want to go. Well, it seems he and fans across the globe have got what they wanted as the iconic duo are on their way back. Yeah, that's basically what's said in the other article. We just couldn't load it up, really. Um, that's so exciting. Um, so, let's talk about this. Because I think there's... Um, like, let's... Let's talk about this because I think it's, an, it's a really interesting one. So some people will make the point of it does feel a bit difficult to backstep onto you know to Tenant, and I think I, I agree that Tenant has been everywhere the last few years with Doctor Who, which makes this less exciting than it could be. Which isn't a criticism; it's just a, a total fact of the matter is when Tenant's been doing video games and shit tons of Big Finish stories for every Big Finish range, and he's been you know he appeared on stage with the Muppets a few years back for fuck's sake. Um, it's it's insane that they think they can do something. And I'm glad that it, by the looks of it, doesn't look like it's going to be. Um, it doesn't look like it's. Um, like a multi doctor story kind of thing. Maybe it will be, but it doesn't look like that. It looks like something different. And what I will say is, it's very, very clever of Russell to go in this direction. Because Russell's a big name. It's like, oh, do you remember? But then you kind of have to explain it. For people who don't know Doctor Who, it's like, do you remember David Tennant? Do you remember how good it was then? Oh, yeah, the writer for that is coming back and he's doing Doctor Who again. Oh, cool. The guy from Sex Ed. Oh, cool. More public attention. David Tennant and Catherine Tate are returning. Let's play their roles again. And it's mysterious. And they're not going to explain why or how. It's not like the 50th when it's like, multi-Doctor story. It's like, we've announced a new Doctor and now I've announced an old Doctor and an old companion. Uh, interesting. Um, and I'm 100% here for it. And you know what? It's incredibly, incredibly clever, I think, in terms of advertising. I think to to go, like... And obviously I can understand for Doctor Who fans, it's like, oh, Tenant again. Yeah, this is on screen. This is TV. This is Russell T. Davis writing it. I don't think Russell would have done this unless he had a good reason for it. And I feel like he must have a good reason for it because, holy shit, this is massive. Um... Um, <laughs> Max, shut the fuck up! <laughs> um, uh, yeah, um, I think it's one of those things where... I don't know, I feel like... I, I just don't know what to say because there's so much to it. Um... They're currently filming it. See, people are saying, "Oh, it's just a, it, it, it could be a if it's confirmed to be a bit of a ratings grab." At the end of the day, it's going to be that, right? Let's be honest and look at it as, um, yeah, my flatmate was just singing very loudly, um, probably because he knows I'm streaming. Um, 
the thing is, I totally understand that, and I totally appreciate that. I'm, I get a bit like iffy with them doing stuff like this. It's one of the iffy about the centenary special with Ace and Tegan and Kate Stewart and Daleks and Simon and the Master. It feels very much like that. This is very much in the way. I mean, maybe I'm a bit biased because it's Russell, and I'm kind of trusting Russell because it's like my entire childhood. But you know, um, I, I, I. I just love this, and I and I love this announcement because I feel like not only do I trust Russell to do something good with it and not just do it for the sake of it, but let's be honest, I have enjoyed Jodie's era. I genuinely have. I thought there's some great stuff in there. Not all of it's been for me, but it's it's good stuff. And for you know, for me anyway, I enjoy it. If you don't like it, that's absolutely fine. If you do, absolutely fine. If you love it, if you hate it, if you're in between, absolutely fine either way. What can't be denied is actually the ratings have dropped a little bit, you know, and a little bit. I mean, it's probably. Especially with the Sea Devils episode. The Sea Devils episode did weirdly kind of shit. Um, and the advertising is just not there. Whereas, yeah, a new era and a bit of a reboot for Who fans is like, okay, Doctor Who's coming back a little bit. It's fighting back. We're going to get some new stuff. I think for the public perception of it, going David Tennant and Catherine Tate. I mean, this is the man who won a National Television Award and announced his departure which met to a huge outcry publicly, like a huge gasp in a stadium of other people in the TV industry who are just getting their own awards. David Tennant did that, you know? David Tennant, in, in this era, like 2008, 2009, was massive. If you could get David Tennant onto a show back then, you were, you were killing it. And the thing is, it's the same now. David Tennant's still a lovely household name, but Doctor Who was the peak of, like... He was massive. The show was massive. Catherine Tate is fantastic. Everyone loves Catherine Tate. I think, yes, it could be a bit of a ratings grab. Does it need it? Yeah. I think the show kind of does need a little bit of a push-up. And I think, actually, if you're going to do the 60th anniversary and you're not going to do a multi-Doctor special because they kind of have been done and they sometimes work. And the thing is, multi-Doctor stories are great. But once you've done them, I mean... In 2013, when we had the 50th anniversary special, we hadn't had them. We hadn't had a multi-doctor story in years. If you don't include Big Finish, we hadn't had one since probably the two Doctors. Okay, and then you come to the 50th anniversary. It's like, oh my god, they're bringing back multiple Doctors. It's so exciting. Oh my god, Matt Smith and David Tennant are going to interact with each other. Um, and David Tennant was probably a big selling point for that as well. And then they do Twice Upon a Time, and then you've had Joe Martin. Uh, so then you, you you do the whole multi-doctor thing a few times. I think, like. I think then you go, right, okay, the new era, if they're, instead of doing a 60th anniversary where, like, <clears throat> Shooty meets Tennant and meets Smith and all that sort of thing, and they all shake hands and go, ooh, you know, um, instead of doing that, they do, like, oh, here is a story, and it's just David Tennant as the Tenth Doctor, Catherine Tate as Donna, and there's just a story, which harkens back to the, like, an era from about ten years ago. Um, 12 years ago now, 13 years ago, scary. Um, harkens back to a 13-year-old era. Harkens back and references and has a lot of fun with it and then, you know, kind of plays around with that but also is used as a story device to sort of lean into a new era. That's the interesting thing here because it's not just about getting people back for one special. It's about getting people back and getting them to stay with the new Doctor. They're getting him anyway. Shooty is a massively popular casting. Like, loads of people know of the guy. It's, it's, it's a well-known name, especially with Netflix and sex education. It's a good choice. You know what's going to get even more people on board? Is bringing back David Tennant and Catherine Tate, like, the episode before, or in his first episode, or something like that. Around the time where Shooty is becoming the Doctor and being announced as the new Doctor, they're also going to throw in two of, well, the most pop, one of the most popular Doctors in recent years, and probably the most popular companion in recent years, to come back and go, here we go! It's them again, and for fans, it's a bit like, oh, we've seen them in Big Finish and all that sort of thing. For casual viewers who just watch TV, it's massive news because it's like, oh my god, I remember that. Oh man, that's that's my that's like my childhood. I remember that. I haven't watched it in years, but I've got to tune in now just to see what David Tennant does with it and what they're gonna do. It's interesting. It's different. And if you know this leads in, I mean, it's still Russell writing it. It's not just Russell writing one special and then fucking off. He's writing the next series as well. So you write the special, you bring these two back, you do something exciting with it, but you tie it into the next series with the new Doctor, with a whole new creative direction, a whole kind of soft reboot kind of vibe. Perfection! That's how you do a 60th anniversary without making it a massive multi-Doctor thing like Day of the Doctor. 
If you try and top day the Doctor every time you do an anniversary, you're going to be fucked by the time you get to the 100th or the 80th or the bloody, even the 70th, for fuck's sake. Like, if you try and top it every time, it's going to be a bit of a difficult one, especially when, again, twice upon a time, you had a Fugitive of the Dune, you had Once Upon Time. <clears throat> Loads of examples of multi-Doctor stories. There might be Doctors coming back in the centenary. If you do get a multi-Doctor story in the centenary, then even better, because then this gets to be its own thing without people going, oh, we, we want a multi-Doctor story. <laughs> yeah, Mike, I'm still streaming, my guy. Um, what amazing news, though. This is actually just incredible. Um, what do you think will happen if the viewers don't increase? I'll be shocked if the viewers don't increase because of this news. If they don't, and it, it... Well, one, it's just TV standard. TV doesn't get as many viewers as it... Anywhere near as much as it used to, anyway. Um, but I think Doctor Who needs a bit of a boost, not just for viewers. It, it, it's public perception. It's knowing about the brand. It's seeing them in shops. It's like the Toys R Us effect. You know, you want the big barriers. You want Doctor Who to be a massive, massive household name again. And it kind of... It, it is. But it hasn't been for a while, you know. Max, I'll catch, I'll catch you up when I've done the stream. I'm not going to be too much longer, I think. Um, but yes, in short, David Tennant is returning as the Doctor. And Catherine Tate is returning as Donna Noble somehow for the 60th anniversary next year so all the stuff i've talked to you about and my theories and shit probably might be true who knows um holy shit though i mean that's just insane that's my hot take on it i i don't i mean we could sit here and read it chat all night we're probably not going to stream for much longer because we've been going for almost two hours now um <clears throat> We'll probably have a few more notes before we wrap up and stuff, but basically, in short, I'm really excited about this news. I'm probably going to do some sort of video about this um, during the week and talk about it and my opinions on it and stuff, so wait and see for that. Massive, massive news, another Sunday in a row, which is absolutely insane. This probably will be the last of the new era news by the looks of Russell's Instagram post, um, but... I'm excited. Um, I'm going to just sort of shout out a few things for those people who are still watching. 560 people watching is insane. Um... But, yeah, again, in the description you'll find loads of different links and all that sort of thing for those who are interested in my sort of immediate opinions on Doctor Who stuff that gets announced or talked about or theorised about and any just inane ramblings that I come up with. <clears throat> please do follow my Twitter, at GBSheard. Uh, again, link below. My Instagram's also GBSheard if you want to see some more personal stuff, but that might not be your taste. Twitter's the main place for my sort of opinions and Doctor who -y kind of things, so please do follow me on there. Um, and then, yeah, uh, you know, check out, like... Uh, my Twitch, which is also linked below as well, twitch.tv slash gbsheard. I'll put it in the chat as well, just to make it easier for you. Um, but again, thank you so much to all the new followers on the Twitch here, which is just wonderful, um, because, you've, I've, again, it's been such a wonderful live stream, and you guys have been so supportive, and I absolutely love you all for it. You're all legends. Um, and again, we have a podcast called Spill Your Beans, which we do film reviews every single Friday. Um, we recently covered The World's End, um, which, it wasn't Edgar Wright announced today. It's probably not going to happen, but that would have been really cool and relevant. That would have been about link that back uh, but yeah that's also linked in the description below so any sort of social links a lot of people are watching i really do appreciate anything that like you guys you know would love to help me to help support me with and all that sort of thing lots of social links there lots of stuff that i'm trying to get off the ground especially stuff like the twitch etc um but i really really appreciate it um yeah so that's that um yeah no um Super, super exciting stuff. Um, we're going to just sort of read out a few more opinions and stuff. And then, yeah. Yep, David Tennant's back to the show in the 60th anniversary. Maybe as the main doctor for the 60th anniversary. Thank you to that boy, Ahmed, for following my Twitch. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I think we might wrap up there then. I think we've been going for two hours now. <clears throat> it's been a wonderful, wonderful live stream. Um, I really do appreciate all the love and care and all that sort of thing. It's been a lot of fun. A lot of theories, a lot of excitement. Um, but I'm going to just kind of wrap it up now, I think. And yeah, yeah, we're going to just sort of throw it together and then that be it. But if you're not already, please do consider subscribing. I know I don't make much Doctor Who content now, but obviously there's a lot of exciting news at the moment that we're going to have to be able to talk about. So I look, we're almost at 24k. That would be exciting, wouldn't it? Um, so please do, if you can, uh, support the channel. Subscribe if you're not already. Notifications on for more Doctor Who content because I'm going to try and be as quick as I can with this sort of stuff because this stuff does excite me. Um, and I'll be here for it. Um, so, yeah. Again, we try and do Twitch streams every Tuesday. We play through video games on there. So if you want to ask us more Doctor Who questions and get more involved on that, then you can head over to my Twitch 
twitch.tv slash gbshared, um, which again is linked in the description and in the chat if you scroll up a little bit. Um, yeah, you can check that out there. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I think we're going to wrap it up there. There's some great theories there. If you have any fantastic theories that you want me to sort of talk about or discuss or think about, again, either come to my Twitch on Tuesdays, perfect timing for that little pop-up of show up there, and um, yeah, throw them to me on Twitter. I might respond on Twitter as well. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, subscribe, like, comment, all that sort of thing. And I think I will see you all later. Exciting stuff. Have a lovely day. Um, and holy shit, I need time to process this. <laughs> um, they're back. They're back. How exciting. <laughs> see you all later. Bye-bye.